Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing, reviewing the ST1000DM003. It's a Thea gate, it has uh, 1000 gigs. I will be comparing it with an uh, Western Digital Black, the FZAX1. This is the latest Western Digital Black. They both are uh, single platter, and um, as you can see, I I've already run the benches, and uh, first we'll start with the info. As you can see, it uh, the CIG doesn't have S. CT tables. I don't know what that means. They both run uh, on uh, Ultra DMA six. Uh, but as you can see, the average speed is rated for 144 for the Seagate and 141 for the Western Digital. As for the benchmarks, as you can see here for Seagate is a plateau for the first 150 gigs I don't know why these spikes happen these same spikes remind me of my old uh, Samsung F3 spin point uh, as you can see the maximum is a little bit higher the average is rated, rated a little bit higher than the Western Digitals and the minimum is also a little bit higher. What I was impressed is was the access time, which uh, from the first day the Western Digital had uh, ar around 16, and uh, this one has 14. My older drives, I had a Seagate uh, 500 gigs with two platters, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It had um, around 12 access time milliseconds it's uh, it's do the single platter design and it doesn't accessing in multiple spaces on uh, the balls um, on the both platters and that's why as you can see uh, I didn't do the file benchmark yet but I did the random access uh, overall the performance of the SIA gate despite having these uh, high ones they are a little bit faster not but ma by much but uh, I would recommend it for uh, a game storage HDD because it has uh, a faster access time and uh, if uh, the game has many files it would be a better choice and the extra tests uh, overall the Seagate performed better except the burst rate um, I think this is the only um, benchmark in which it excels and uh, here down you have the cache speed as, uh, as you can see it's not consistent but uh, it has uh, over 200 uh, megabytes per second speed and uh, the Seagate has under 200 it has a really fast spike in the front I think this is due to the software and uh, the Western Digital software uh, pushes a little bit the cache and the burst rates as you can see in the file benchmark the burst rate on Seagate on Western Digital is much higher uh, but in real time uh, day to day use I don't think a normal uh, PC user with uh, browsing the internet or stuff like that will notice the differences be between these two
I, I've just run the crystal disk mark uh, 5, the 64 bit one. As, uh, and as you can see, the sequential read speed is 211, and the writes are 200, around 200. <coughs> the, f the 4K isn't really that r relevant for the HDDs because they are not so fast for these kinds of operations. Um, despite having the only two years of warranty, I would uh, recommend the ST, the Seagate uh, 100DM003. It also has uh, the read speeds and uh, write speeds are uh, somehow uh, around my uh, external HDD. I have the 2 terabyte version, which uh, has pretty similar uh, results as you can see this is the Seagate expansion uh, weight layer size this is the Seagate expansion desk the 2000 gigs version as you can see it has the minimum read speed of 82 the maximum of 196 and the average is 153 the access time is actually a little bit worse but uh, let's not forget it's used uh, on the USB 3.0 3.0 um, oops mm. here is the f uh, the random access I don't know why the 512 bytes didn't work out but the others are a little bit slower not by much but uh, they are pre pretty okay and the extra speeds extra tests as you can see uh, it actually behaved better than the western digital as I can remember um, from now on I will be using the Seagate for my games uh, those who doesn't require uh, those uh, which are not uh, played online for the online games I using an SSD the Seagate uh, 300 the consumer one thank you for watching like if you like it, dislike if you disliked it. Um, thank you for watching again.